God. Earlier this summer, I had the wonderful opportunity to fly over to the Åland Islands to hang out with the rest of the Canal Gratis crew. In case you didn't know, Canal Gratis has a bunch of different outlets, which are always linked in the description below. But nonetheless, I flew over there to hang out with everybody else and to spend some time filming and going fishing. I got to do a similar thing last year by going to Sweden when I got this job. And though that trip wasn't necessarily focused on fishing, this time around, the emphasis was on content creation and fishing. So as soon as this trip became a thing, I was looking forward to it. And there was one thing that I was very, very excited to do. And that was to use musky lures and target pike. My biggest takeaway from last year's trip to Sweden was how different the pike acted over there compared to the, how the pike act over here. Over there, it was much more in line with muskies as far as structure, build on the fish, the way they strike, the way they fight. It was a lot more like muskies, not identical, but very, very similar. So this whole winter, I basically have been thinking about how would these fish react to the baits I use for muskies over in Europe. So the first full day I got to go fishing, that's exactly what I did. And I was joined by Tristan from the French channel and we went out on our own to target pike with big musky baits. Unfortunately for us, that first day of fishing was not great. We didn't have the greatest conditions. Both Tristan and I were very unfamiliar with what we were doing. And in turn, we only managed a couple of followers and short strikes at the boat. I just had, oh, he's still there. Would really be me without doing a figure eight. First bike sighting. Had him go around twice in a figure eight. Lost you fishing for pike. Oh. Second contact, Husky Medusa. Yes. Oh. oh, he's still here. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh l'action de dingue. Oh, lo, lo, il était oh pas... my god, that was insane! Il était pas gros, le, le brochet. Though that first day wasn't super eventful, it was still a lot of fun to get out and just experience the Åland Islands because I have to say this is one of the most beautiful destinations I've ever been to. I mentioned this in the previous video I released from this trip, but everything as far as bodies of water goes is connected to each other, which is all connected to the ocean, which is just such a unique experience to be out there and fish all these interconnected bodies of water. On that subject, the next day, Tristan and I were joined by Jonas, who was a fishing guide in the Åland Islands. And we hopped on his boat and we went out and we fished a number of different locations. And it was a lot of fun to hop in his boat and absolutely fly through these little canals and take this long boat ride to the first destination we were gonna fish. And the first spot we fished was a way, way, way larger body of water. And we were out to target big fish. So we were fishing big fish spots, main lake spots. And the first spot we chose to fish was identical to something that I would fish for muskies, which was really, really cool. And the lure of choice I started with was the Chaos Tackle Husky Medusa. The Medusa has already been a hot bait for me this year on the musky line of things. In fact, I caught three fish in 10 minutes on it, which is absolutely bonkers. But it didn't take long into the day to get that first pike to hit that Husky Medusa. Oh. Feels decent. <laughs> First fish, good work. So it's a new day. We're still continuing on with musky lures. I'm throwing the Chaos Tackle Husky Medusa. And like as soon as that thing hit the water, I got hit, missed it because I wasn't really paying full attention. 
And then luckily this fish came back and ate it. So we have our first fish of the day. There we are, chaos tackle, husky medusa, musky lures. So we'll get this fish back in the water, hopefully catch some bigger ones the rest of today. The one key difference with how I was fishing that bait was it turned out that the fish preferred a straight reel versus pull pause, which was the only kind of different thing that I learned over there while I was using that bait. Now we continued to fish that area hard. We did a number of passes through it. We fished a couple of other spots in that particular body of water, but things just weren't happening. And later in that day, we actually had some weather that was supposed to come in, had some rain and potential thunderstorms. So with that in mind, we made the long journey back to kind of the initial body of water we started on. And by that time, the wind had picked up, the overcast guys were here. It was sort of drizzling and the fish went crazy. Both Tristan and Jonas kind of switched to smaller baits and they were absolutely putting on a clinic, but I was stubborn and I wanted to use my musky baits. And the next one I chose was top water. At this point in the game, you guys know me in top water. I love top water. I just caught my new personal best musky on a top water. So, I had all the confidence in the world to throw a topwater for pike. And though I wasn't necessarily having the success that they were on spots, I did manage a few things of my own. Look, look, look. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I just looked over, I saw the fish in the air. Now for me, that strike was absolutely epic. I actually wasn't looking at that fish. I was looking down at Tristan, but I just felt by the way the kind of the slack in the line jumped at me, I knew that fish came all the way out of the water for it. So it was really, really fun to go back and play that footage back. And of course, later on, I was able to manage a couple of other fish. Yeah, I got one. Top water. All in all, it was just such an eventful time on the water. We were fishing spots that were so different and unique to anything I've ever fished in my life, but at the same time, there's also other spots that were super familiar that felt like I should have been pulling muskies off them instead of big European pike. All in all, that day was an absolute awesome introduction to the fishing the All-In Islands has to offer, and already that place has a pretty special place in my heart, and I hope I get the opportunity to go back and fish there more often. Of course, my trip didn't stop there, so stay tuned for more videos from that trip. And if you aren't already, I would genuinely appreciate your subscription to the channel, as in the last 28 days, about 90% of my viewers aren't subscribed. So if you're one of those people, hit the subscribe button. I do a number of different styles of fishing, so I'm sure there's something that you're gonna enjoy here on the channel. With all that out of the way, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you soon.